all right um, next we are going to show uh, the simple optimization with the help of a diagram uh, let us sketch a diagram for a diagram we assume that let's suppose uh, y is the function of x which means that y depends upon x and let's suppose the diagram is something like this like this so this is um, uh, the sketch of y is the function of x so uh, as uh, we discussed earlier that uh, in simple derivative or in any uh, derivative i mean in partial derivative as well we take the first order derivative and we put it equal to zero so the question is why do we put it equal to zero um, if we look into this diagram there are only two points where the slope of the function is zero and the rest of this sketch slope is not zero for example if we look into this point and we draw a tangent we can say that this at this point slope is negative right so this is not zero now look at this point if we draw a tangent then it is positively slope so again it is not zero furthermore again you can uh, if you uh, draw a sketch over here this is the tangent again slope is neg negative right so there are two points for example the peak and the drop at these two points if you draw the tangent tangent mean derivative if you take derivative at a particular point if you draw the tangent you can see that the tangent is parallel to the horizontal axis and you know it um, at such points at such graphs which are parallel to the horizontal axis keeps zero slopes so this is the point where the derivative is equal to zero and this is also the point where derivative is equal to zero the rest here a prime of x is positive here a prime of x is negative because it is downward sloping and again you can see here the derivative is negative because it the tangent is downward sloping only there are two points that is point this and this where the, the slope of the function is zero because when we sketch the tangent when we take the tangent it is parallel to the uh, horizontal axis so that's why to determine the uh, and we can see this is the minimum point and this is the maximum point that's why uh, we take the first other derivative derivative is nothing else this is slope of the function this tangent at a particular point on the graph right and we put it equal to zero because when we put it equal to zero it it will directly bring us to the points where the graph will be at its minimum or at its maximum point so that's why we always take the first derivative and put it equal to zero all right <coughs> now the first order derivative only determines the minimum and the maximum point but it does not tell us whether this point is minimum or maximum because at both of these points you can see the first order derivative is zero the first order derivative is zero in this graph we can see where is the maximum point and where is the minimum point but this is not the case of each and every question this is not a particular question right this is the graphical representation that's why we can say which point is maximum and which point is minimum but in practical we do not sketch the graph right so that's why we need some mathematical tools which tells us uh, at which point the function is at its maximum and at which point the function is at its minimum right so to confirm whether uh, the function is maximized or minimized we take the second order derivative now what do we mean by the second order derivative second order derivative is nothing else it is the slope of the tangent it is slope of the tangent we can change the slope of the tangent by slightly moving the uh, 
value of the independent variable. How can we change it? For example, this is the value of x. You can call it x1 asterisk and this is the second value. You can call it x2 asterisk asterisk. These are the two values. If we want to change the slope of this tangent at its immediate neighborhood. So, it will um, if we change it over here it will be positively slope something like this. If we change the slope or uh, if we change the value of x slightly in its in its neighborhood right in its neighborhood. So, this tangent which is which has zero slope now it will become positive. So, the slope will become positive. So, the slope at this point starts rising and here a double prime of x would become greater than 0. Similarly, if we want to change the the value of x, for example, if you want to increase the value of x to a steric slightly in its immediate neighborhood, somewhat here, for example, we assume that, right? Then this tangent will become negatively sloped, something like something like this. Now you can see, initially it it has uh, it was having zero slope, but now it is it is negatively sloped. So now this is the case where f double prime of x becomes negative. So, what conclusion can be drawn? The conclusion is if the first order derivative is 0 and if we move the value of x slightly and the slope of the tangent which is also the second order derivative, it becomes positive then it means that at this very value you are at minimum point and the function is con uh, convex over here. Similarly, we can see that if the first order derivative of the function is 0 and if we slightly instantaneously increase the value of x and the slope of the tangent become negative, it means that you are at peak, you are at maximum point. So, this is the point, this the conclusion is we are at maximum point and the function is concave at this x2 asterisk. So, this is this is how to present the optimization uh, with the help of a diagram. Thank you. Thanks for watching.